Hi guys, today's video is on chia seeds versus basil seeds. I released a video on this topic two years ago. I insist watching my first video on chia versus basil in case you haven't, as it was well made and I'm sure it would add up to your knowledge on both these super seeds. The reason I'm again showing a video on the same is because first, I still get a lot of questions on this topic and I feel people are still confused about chia and basil. And second, two years ago, my channel did not have that many subscribers like now. So I think it's a better time to share my views on this topic again, so that it reaches out to the maximum of you in the most simplest way I can. So let's get started. The very first difference between them is the name. Chia is known as Chia. There is no secondary name in Hindi or any other language because they are native to South America. Basil is native to India and few other countries and thus has various names like Sabsa, Tukmaria, Faluda seeds, Sweet Basil seeds, Tukmalanga etc. These seeds come from Sweet Basil plant, so don't get confused with Holy Basil which is Tulsi plant. Second difference is in the look. Chia seeds come in various colors like grey, black, white or brown, but there is no difference in the nutritional value. They are oval or rather like an egg in shape and I find chia slightly smaller than basil seeds though many find chia to be bigger than basil. Basil seeds on the other hand are completely black and tear shaped like sesame seeds. They do not come in any other color but they become light blue in color when completely swelled. Upon soaking, basil seeds expand more than chia. Also don't confuse basil seeds with black sesame or nigella seeds also known as onion seeds etc. All three are different. Third difference is in the way they are consumed. Chia seeds can be consumed both raw and soaked depending on how you wish to use them. Like in smoothies or energy bars you can add them raw. Basil can't be eaten raw. It needs to be soaked in water to be consumed. Both chia and basil can also be consumed in powdered form. This way, your body is able to absorb more nutrients from these seeds. Fourth difference is the time they take to absorb water. Chia seeds when soaked in water take up to 30 minutes to 2 hours to absorb water and swell. Chia and water ratio should be 1 is to 10. Whereas basil seeds when soaked in water takes about 15 to 30 minutes to absorb the water completely. The basil and water ratio should be 1 is to 5. In this video, I am using chia and basil seeds from Nutrivish brand. I have been using this brand since 2 years as the products are good and of utmost quality. The best buying links are in the description box. Fifth difference is the taste. Chia seeds taste like oil and very similar to flax seeds, whereas basil seeds are tasteless. Sixth difference is in the nutritional value. Chia seeds are rich in antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. They have 20% omega-3 acids, 37% dietary fiber and about 15% protein by weight. These seeds are a complete protein containing all 9 essential amino acids. Chia seeds are the richest plant source of omega-3 acids which help lower bad cholesterol. But chia seeds don't supply DHA which our brain needs for development. They are also high in calcium and provide 18% of recommended daily intake of calcium which is 2 tablespoons. Basil seeds have more iron and magnesium compared to chia seeds. Calcium content is also 2 times more than chia seeds. They also have more dietary fiber but are less in protein content compared to chia. Also omega-3 acids are less than half compared to chia seeds. Seventh difference is in the weight loss properties. Increasing your protein intake promote weight loss by reducing food cravings and calorie intake. Chia seeds have more protein content compared to basil seeds, hence are more effective. Also the fiber is mainly soluble fiber and mucilage. Mucilage is a substance which gives a gluey texture to soaked chia seeds. These fiber also help to lower LDL cholesterol and slow down digestion. Basil seeds on the other hand function well as a diuretic. It improves quality of blood and aids in digestion. They also reduce body heat. As basil seeds have more dietary fiber than chia seeds, hence are more effective in reducing constipation and bloating. 
Eighth difference is the price. What I have observed is the price of both depends on the country from where you are buying. For example, in India, basil seeds are less expensive than chia seeds as they are easily available there. Similarly, in Canada, chia is less expensive than basil seeds as chia is easily available here. Ninth difference is in the side effects. Chia seeds are mostly safe for all, including pregnant and nursing mothers. But due to its high fiber content, it may cause abdominal discomfort to some. Chia seeds normalize blood pressure. However, basil seeds are known to lower blood pressure. Hence, low BP patients should avoid taking basil seeds. Basil seeds are safe for pregnant women if taken in right doses as it's rich in calcium and iron and boosts the chances of a healthy delivery. But remember to have in moderation. Don't go overboard with basil as it can lead to uterine contractions. It should not be given to children as these seeds swell pretty soon even with saliva in our mouth. So there is always a risk of a child choking on it. And the tenth difference is in the calories. Chia seeds have 571 calories per 100 grams whereas basil seeds only have 120 calories per 100 grams which is one fifth of chia. Hope you like this video on chia versus basil seeds. I tried to explain the difference in the most simplest way I could. Do hit like and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't and I will see you soon with a new video. Till then. Make these tiny super seeds a part of your life. As size doesn't matter. Bye bye.